Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got an exciting video for you guys today. I'm not even joking. Like this video I've been wanting to make for you guys for the longest time ever. Only because I want you guys to know this information. Maybe a lot of you know it, but maybe some of you don't. And you really need to know this information if you love makeup as much as I do. So the video I've got for you guys today is, as you can tell from the title, is finding branded makeup in Poundland. Now you do have your normal Poundland range. The makeup that is a pound, well, basically everything's a pound in pound ad, but actually it's changed now because they are starting to be a bit cheeky and sell things for more than a pound, two pounds, like have those offers on. Dude, Poundland, just stay Poundland, come on. Okay, um, they actually have branded makeup in Poundland. They have a section where they have their range, it's called makeup something. Oh, I can't remember. I think it's called gallery makeup. If I'm not sure, I will put it here what's it called okay so basically they have that brand that's their own brand of makeup but they also sell branded makeup if you get what I mean by branded makeup I mean like they have branded makeup like from MUA so they have branded makeup like Maybelline uh, I've seen Revlon there I've seen I can't think of, uh, think of anything now I've recently seen Bourjois there which I'm surprised about um, I've seen Rimmel there they have a lot of brands there and most of them will probably be UK brands no I did back in the day way in the day they used to have Asta and uh, they have had Elf not Elf that's a lie they've had Wet n Wild there but everything is a pan and basically I want to show you what it, how it comes uh, you have like these aisles if I have a clip I will show you what they look like but um, it's a very finicky aisle. This is what, they, what it looks like. This is how it comes. It comes in one of these little plastic baggies. And you get one item in there. You can get two, maybe three if you're lucky. But sometimes if it's two, it'll probably be nail polishes or things that they're trying to get rid of. Or the MUA stuff. Because I've seen a lot of MUA stuff there at the moment. And they'll be trying to get rid of that stuff. So I think they've been putting two things in there in one go. Especially with the Halloween collection. Like there was this lip transformer thing that MUA used to do. That was like black and uh, yeah they've been trying to get rid of that as well so this is probably makeup that brands want to get rid of or stock that they no longer need so they sell it to Poundland and Poundland sells it to us so I always get reeled into it I don't particularly like the aisle though because of the way they've presented it because if you're trying to look at the back of the aisle um, at the back of like all the packages they end up falling down so it's a bit of a faff um, but other than that they have got some lovely makeup there's some brilliant makeup from branded from brands like good drugstore brands so I'm going to show you guys the things that I bought today well recent things that I've bought from Poundland and I'm excited because I really want to try this stuff out by the way if you can hear background noise it's family can't do anything about it sadly okay so I'm picking this up this is the first thing that comes into my hand it is from Maybelline it is their baby lips moisturizing lip gloss let's open it up oh my god i have literally just had a coughing fit and i am dying right now okay let's get back into it so this is what i first have this is the maybe maybe this is the baby lips moisturizing lip gloss and they did have several shades i picked up this shade you've got to be careful with packages as well because some people will have opened them up so make sure you're not picking something that someone's tested so make sure it's sealed so this is the gloss it's just a standard sticky gloss standard plain gloss it smells lovely it smells quite sweet and i love the scent of it but i've been after a clear gloss for the longest time so i think that will be a nice addition to my collection it doesn't feel oh it actually feels quite balmy it doesn't feel sticky at all look no stick whatsoever that's cool that is i picked up two of these because i thought this was ridiculously cheap bourgeois which is super expensive but i kind of want to know what's going on with bourgeois because superdrug are trying to get rid of all their bourgeois stock don't tell me they're leaving us because i don't even know if boots sell bourgeois anymore but they have a buy one get one free deal on superdrug on some of their stuff that's left over and i am obsessed oh they're not over here but I'll insert what it is. It's their, um, it's they're basically like their creams, uh, lipsticks in a lip 
it looks like a liquid lipstick form i don't know velvet rouge i think that's what it is but they have that um and uh, i bought those for two for 10 pound or something like that two for 12 pound and that was quite expensive and to think that i found these like bourgeois products for a pound i'm shocked okay they had this i've just opened it now um this is the concealer the healthy mix concealer the healthy mix anti-fatigue this is the healthy mix anti-fatigue concealer and dude i love the healthy mix foundation and that was just like a recent find i bought it ages ago never wore it and then i recently wore it and i loved it and now i'm not in focus again <laughs> yeah but i loved that um so i really wanted to pick up this concealer and they only had it in the shade amber though which i'm thinking it's because it's a dark shade but i like wearing dark shades under my eyes and then going in with the lighter concealer but oh, that it's lovely i actually think that that will suit me that shade will suit me on days where i'm trying to do just a natural look because on days when i want to do a natural look i don't like going for a highlighted under eye I'm still recovering from that cough but yeah I was so shocked about that I actually picked up two again from Bourjois these I did pick up two of these the different shades I've got the one in Cherry Leaders I'm telling you the shade names without telling you what the product is okay um they these are the Rouge Edition Souffle de Velvet so it is a different form of their lipstick one that I haven't tried yet um, I have the shade Cherry Leaders which looks like that it's kind of like a more um, downed downed version uh, a more subtle version of the actual um, Rouge Velvet somethings I still don't know what they're called and then I have the shade um, Orange Leak these are sheer matte lipsticks um, and that's what that one looks like the orange leak they are a bit patchy to be honest that one's orange leak and they are a little bit patchy so I don't know how I feel about it. they have like a really soft formula I don't know how it would last on the lips I feel like it would just leave a nice tint don't think it would last as long so I'd have to see um, yeah they've not actually stained my hand or anything so I feel like they could be like a, a comfortable lip gloss, maybe. I have another baby lips thing from Maybelline. So cute. Um, this is a Colour Balm Crayon. It doesn't say a shade name, it's just a Colour Balm Crayon. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Dude, that's pigmented, that is. That is quite pigmented, pigmented and bright. I don't know if that's my colour. I thought it was going to be more muted. I thought it was just going to be like a balm, but that's more like a balmy lipstick. So, I uh, don't know how I feel about that. I have another bourgeois product. This is a shiny finish. It's a rouge lac. So, the, the thing, the one that I like the most, it's not, it's called, it's called the rouge velvet somethings. But, dude, that's nice. Again, maybe a bit patchy now it, it kind of reminds me of the other formula but that one's more moussey the other two that i tried this one not so much but i really like the orange color um i have can you see can you can you notice do you notice i bought so many lip products like sometimes i think to myself why do you do it why i have this which i'm so excited about this is the maybelline color drama color show in 150 fuchsia desire and the original ones, when you buy them from Maybelline, like Superdrug or whatever, they're twice the size of these, I think. But for a pound, come on. I saw it and I was like, wait, isn't that like, don't Maybelline sell that right now? So I think maybe these are like tester versions. Oh, it's an actual pencil. I thought it was going to be like a twisty thing. But it's an actual pencil, like a lip crayon. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it feels like a lipstick though. That is a bright colour again. Maybe for summer? But I felt really soft that did. And I love how cute the pencil is. Just perfect to throw in your pencil case. Pencil case? Throw it in your bag. Um, two more things. I have this again from Bourgeois. Wait, I think I put it in the wrong package. package. This is from Maybelline. It's their Master Ink 
I've heard so many good things about this eyeliner but I have this one I picked it up because I just felt like it it's the a metallic and it's in twilight purple so it's basically a metallic purple eyeliner I love the brush the little tip applicator and it really does feel like an ink pen that's it it's right there so I think that'll be f nice for a purple color so I'm excited I'm excited to try some new stuff and I think Pamland tend to Pamland tend to have all the makeup that maybe other people are not buying or they're not as excited about or it's not selling as much I did get this as well this is the last product uh, the Maybelline Master Camo color correcting pen which I'm excited about because I've never had a purple color correcting pen this one's never been opened that's good to know that is such a weird applicator like, what do I do it's twisty okay I don't want too much product coming out here it reminds me of the eye eraser oh please tell me something's gonna come out <gasps> can you see that just a blob of it came out that's like a really muted lilac oh okay okay that's like a really lilac-y bright lilac-y colour like a bluey lilac-y colour okay I've put a, too much products come out of there now I don't know what to do okay I've left it in there but that is pigmented dude where does that go someone tell me I'll have to look it up but basically yeah that is all the makeup I bought from Poundland and I just wanted to make this video just so I could tell you guys that go to your local Poundland and have a look at the makeup bowl because you could be saving a pretty penny um, if you go so yeah I hope this video was helpful to you guys if you did enjoy this video please make sure you subscribe so you kept up to date with all my other videos and hit that notification bell um, see you guys in my next video bye